In this video we're going to show you how to send a part to an F-Series 3D printer either over your network or using a USB thumb drive. I have a wrench here processed and ready to be sent to the printer. There's a couple of ways I can do this. First I can connect to a printer over my network. So if we go down in the bottom right corner and grab cat print and click, you may already see a printer listed here if it's detected it over your network or it's been connected previously. But if you don't see it, you can enter in the IP address of your printer, which is found in the menu on the printer screen here and click add and it will search for it on the network and add it to GrabCAD once it's found it. If it doesn't find it, you'll probably need to work with your IT department to find out why. In my case, I've got it here, so I'm going to select it. Right now I can see it's idle. And if I go to printer detail, I should see a webcam view of the printer. So now that the printer is selected and I've processed the file, I simply hit print and it will send the file to the printer and queue the job. Now this is the job's been queued successfully. I can go to the schedule and in a minute here we should see it pop up. You can see this is the job. Uh, it's giving us two warnings. So there's no material loaded in the printer. I need to deal with that before I can print this job. It's giving me more information about when the job was submitted if we start it right now, when it will finish, and some other details that you may be interested in. So the next step here is to walk over to the printer and start the job. All right, so we're in front of the machine here, and I've got the wrench on the screen ready to go. So I've got a build plate loaded, materials loaded now, I'm gonna hit the print button. And when I do that, I see an outline of the wrench with the purge tower on the screen. I can slide this around wherever I want. So this is a nice feature because even if you didn't place it exactly where you wanted in GrabCAD print, the printer gives you an opportunity to move that after the fact. And at this point, I'm ready to hit print. So the screen comes up and says preparing. And there is some stabilization time depending on the temperature of the printer. If the printer's been on for a while and it's been warmed up, the stabilization time is shorter. I can tell how long it's going to stabilize or prepare by looking at the number shown here versus down here. The hour and 16 minutes it says it's going to take to print the part is uh, different than the hour and 29 minutes total. That total time takes into account the heating and stabilization as well. The other option if you aren't connected to your printer currently is to select the template printer. So I need to select the template of the F120 because that's the printer that I have. This will simulate me not having a connection to it directly in GrabCAD print. The important step here is to make sure that you select the material that's currently loaded in your printer. Since we're using an unconnected printer right now, GrabCAD print doesn't know what material is loaded in there. If we select the material that's not loaded in the printer, when we put the file in the printer, the printer will tell us that it's sliced for a different material and won't let us print. So I've got that done. Now I'm going to process this file. Now that the file is processed, I've inserted a USB drive into my computer. I'm going to go to File, Export CMB. I'll scroll down until I find my USB drive and I'm going to type in the name and save the file. It's telling me the tray for the export has a purge part. Do you want to exclude it from the CMB? We don't want to do that in this case. This is useful if you're trying to export multiple CMBs and then combine them so you don't have multiple purge parts. But in my case, I want to print just a single part, so I want to include the purge part with my CMB file. Now this file, it's telling me, has been successfully exported to my thumb drive. I can walk my thumb drive over to my printer and start the job that way. Insert the thumb drive into the front of the printer here. And once we do that, we can now press the load file button. We're going to press USB. And it's showing me all the, the folders and files on found on this thumb drive. So if you have multiple folders, you put it in, you can still browse the folders from the screen. But I saved it to the root of the thumb drive so you can see wrench. Select it. It's going to show me um, the details on the part, what material is processed for, how much time it expects to take, the slice height, and I can add that to the queue. It copies it over to the queue if there were multiple parts in the queue. So we can see this is actually the previous part um, I had printed, but if there are multiple parts in the queue, I can delete parts, I can um, 
make changes to them here. So I'll go back out to home, press print. The process is still the same. Because I started and canceled the last build, it's showing this gray outline of the previous part on this tray. So that's useful if you're reusing the tray. Again, it's not recommended to print in the same part on the tray, but you can print in different parts. So since it shows this sort of ghost image of the previous build, I can try to position this in a different spot that doesn't lay the part over that, that same area. If I put in a brand new build tray, I can press clear, and that clears the previous job from the print so that, because we're not worried about it since it's a different tray. So we press print here, and again, it's gonna stabilize and get started printing. The part's finished. You can see on the front screen it says done. I can tap the screen and bring it out of sleep mode. I open the front door, push down on the handle here, and I can remove the build plate. Close the door, and when we close the door, it's going to ask us if the part was removed and if the tray is ready for another job. So at that point, we'll hit yes.